Alright guys, Razorware Reviews here, once again, and uh, tonight I'm going to be reviewing two DVDs, WrestleMania 18, or X8, and WrestleMania 19, or X, would you say X1X? No, it's XIX, isn't it? Yeah, of course. Roman numerals. Bastards. So yeah. Let's go with this one first. WrestleMania 18. Uh see what I'll do. Something like this. So here's the cover. It's probably one of my favourite covers. Just because it's epic. I mean, you know, the one and only WrestleMania. It's got the date in big in a uh, big type there. Where it took place, the Sky Dome, Toronto, Canada, and just the epic face-off between The Rock and Hogan, Icon versus Icon. Just an awesome cover. Looks great. Back cover there. It's kind of cool. It's funny how <laughs> the main event has got like a little picture in the top left corner, um, but it's true. I mean, Rock Hogan was the real main event. So there you go. Record crowd. Music performances by Drowning Pool and Saliva. Uh, and there's the card there. DVD extras, interviews, classic WrestleMania many moments, and the aftermath on the next night's Raw. 325 minutes long. And yeah, it's a pretty good cover all around. Let's open this up. So this is two discs. Um, disc one, disc two. And the. So we have to get Inlay booklet is actually a poster. Let's have a look at the, uh, the content first. So here we have WrestleMania 18. This looks all, you know, looks nice with the borders and everything. Uh, it's Continental Championship: William Regal versus Rob Van Dam. This is a pretty good opener. Uh, again, Regal opened WrestleMania with an Intercontinental Title match, and Rob Van Dam took a, a real harsh bump on the back of his head. It was a pretty cool match and a good opener. European Championship, uh, DDP versus Christian, it's a cool match. Uh, Hardcore Championship, Goldust versus um, who? Maven. Hmm. Can't remember that guy. Uh, <clears throat> Tearaway, uh, what's that? I think that might be some kind of uh, musical thingy. I, no, I'm not sure. I should have watched this whole event first. Kane versus Kurt Angle. You notice there's trademarks above. Um, all the wrestlers they were really into uh, trademarking everything back then. <laughs> uh, Ric Flair versus the Undertaker, awesome match. Um, NWO picks the wrong guy. I think these are oh, these are just the build-up uh, videos. I think um, Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Scott Hall. It was a good match and featured one of the best uh, stunner cells. But um, overall, not great, and especially when Austin main evented the year before. Uh, a lot of extras by this is Vince McMahon, it's a pretty cool uh, insight. Superstar's favourite WrestleMania moments. I'm trying to get the glare out of the. That's pretty cool. Um, let's take it over to here. Right. Uh, top 5 WrestleMania finishes, uh, top 3 WrestleMania attendances, post match comments from Rob Van Dam, GDP, and Kurt Angle. The making of the cast, that was um, a few cast, body casts were made of wrestlers. For the fan access, and it's just a behind the scenes. Uh, Stacey Cube gets to cast off her butt and legs. Interesting. Press conference, uh, and then on disc two, the event continues with four team elimination matches, the tag titles. Bullying Chirk versus the Hardys versus the APA versus the Dudleys. It was okay, I don't remember that much of it, so it can't be that great. Then we have Icon versus Icon, Rock versus Hogan, what more can you say? One of the most entertaining matches in WWE history, really. Uh, triple threat match for the women's title. Jazz versus Lita versus Trish Jazz. This is when women's matches started to get pretty good at WrestleMania, and you know this one was no exception. Trish is in the hometown of Canada, uh, a home country of Canada. I'm not sure if she's from Toronto. I think she is. I'm not sure on that one. But yeah, that was a, a cool moment. She came out with a, the maple leaf on her tights. And then the main event is the undisputed championship. Chris Jericho versus Triple H. Really good match, but it was just kind of overshadowed by. Um, by Rock Hogan and um, yeah, WrestleMania highlight video at the end. 
some more extras. Um, Edge introduces WrestleMania 7 match, Hogan vs Ultimate Warrior, because he was there. Uh, that's pretty cool, and it's got the whole match on there, so that's cool. Uh, it's got the Rock challenging Hulk Hogan, uh, the Rock challenging Hulk story. The next night on Raw, the aftermath, a cat fight, and some more post-match comments from Trish Stratus and some other guy. So yeah, there's the little uh, icon versus icon when you fold it out. And then you can also pull it out there, and it forms a bigger poster. WrestleMania 18. That's pretty cool, but I'd never use it because I, you know, I like to have the inlay in with the DVD, I guess. So this is a, it's a really well laid out DVD, there's some cool extras, nothing amazing, and um, some, yeah, the presentation is good, the menus are nice on the DVD, good cover, and good events, so yeah, if you haven't got this you should really get it, I picked it up for about £5, brand new, years ago, so yeah, that's always a good uh, WrestleMania to have. And secondly, WrestleMania 19, I think this may be my favourite WrestleMania of all time, um, for personal reasons. Uh, Chris Jericho Shawn Michaels is one of my favourite matches, and um, this cover does not reflect that. <laughs> if, if I had my way, I'd have them on the cover because that to me was an icon versus icon match. Um, although I know that you know Hogan had more of a, you know, an, a significant impact on wrestling than than Michaels did, and the same with you know Rock, you know, and Jericho. The Rock and Hogan were just on completely different stratospheres to. Uh, Jericho and Michael, so it's not really Icon vs Icon in that, in that sense, but to me as a fan it was because it was more about wrestling, whereas this was more about, you know, just the spectacle of it. So it's a cool cover, Vincent Hogan had a match. Um, it's not the best cover I would have gone for because it's not the main event, but I guess this isn't the main event either. But I wouldn't say this was the marquee match of WrestleMania 19. Uh, the spine there is the one of the 2003 DVDs that lines up to make 2003. Uh, back cover, again we got the stats where it took place, how many fans were there, you know, and just like a little, is this the end of Hulkamania, will Austin make it 3 for 3, can Booker T beat the game and can Kurt Angle take the pain, again no mention of Michaels and Jericho but I don't think they thought it was going to be a great a match as it was, because you can see there there's just no real emphasis on them, but cool little back cover, that's a nice little roundup of all the main players. And uh, all the matches there, and all the extras here, over two hours. And this one runs... I can't even see. If it has a running time. Not that it really matters, so it's right down there. 347 minutes. Let's just open this up. Again, two discs. Hogan and Vince. Hogan and Vince. Yeah, I think Vince probably approved a lot of this. He was like, I want to be on the cover of this. It's going to be the best DVD cover of all time. The fans will love it. Here we go. Anyway. And, uh, oh. Actually, I have my receipt in there. It's quite funny. I didn't even, I've never even looked at this before. So that cost me, uh, £21.60. And that was 17th of September 2003. At 27, 27 minutes past four. So, yeah. <laughs> I paid full price for this bad boy. Uh, inlay again, same as the front cover of the DVD. It's a cool little uh, sort of back shot there. Uh, let's have a look at these. The first disc. Actually, this is quite nice as well. You got the borders again, but you got a lot of action shots and and so on. It looks really cool. That was a cool moment. The Rock putting on Austin's. Uh, ring jacket. So the opening match is Matt Hardy versus Rey Mysterio for the Cruiserweight title. That was a really good opener, I loved that match. Um, really got the crowd going. Uh, the Catfight Girls arrive, couldn't care less. Limp Biscuit before Holmes rolling. That was cool, uh, Undertaker, Undertaker came out to it and it was kind of a nice nod to when he first started using that song, uh, when he returned, or a few months after he returned I think. Or it might have been later, but anyway. Handicap match, Taker versus Big Show and A-Train. People always say this match is really bad, but I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, Tombstone in A-Train was pretty sick and uh, it kept the streak going. More Catfight Girls shit. Uh see if I can get this in a better light with this work. Oh, that's my lights in the way. Oh, that's better. Shawn Michaels versus Chris Jericho. What more can you say? One of the, the best WrestleMania matches of all time. Uh, Limp Bizkit performs Crack Addict, the theme song for WrestleMania 19. More Catfight shit. Um, Triple H vs Booker T, again, no one really talks about that match, but it is actually pretty good, it's one of my favourite Booker T matches. 
Um, and he probably should have won, really, but um, I think it was the right decision for Triple H to retain. Uh, Street Fight, 20 years in the making. H Hogan vs. Vince. Love that match. It's just Vince makes that match so good, especially with the leg drop off the ladder. Then we have the third, Austin vs. Rock at WrestleMania. I love that match, and it is Austin's last match, and I think it's one of the most classy retirements because he didn't tell anyone about it, and he just did things on his own terms. And Yeah, I really like that match. And then the main event with the infamous shooting star press from Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Kurt Angle vs. Lesnar, awesome match. And uh, it's weird really to think that that was the main event of WrestleMania because, you know, those two guys were amazing wrestlers, but they weren't... Well, Brock was, and I guess Kurt was as well, but they weren't like on the, a, a rock or, you know, Stone Cold or Undertaker or Triple H level of WWE popularity, really. So that was really cool that that actually was the main event of WrestleMania. Uh, music video recap. Let's go the extras. There's a lot of extras on this too. Uh, we have. Oh, this light's really bothering me. I'm just going to go over here and just hope you can see it. Uh, WrestleMania Third Degree. Now that is really cool. It goes on for quite a while. And I think it was in uh, WWE New York uh, where a few of the people who were in big matches at WrestleMania were interviewed, such as um, Austin, Hogan and Triple H, and it's a funny moment where Triple H's tie gets <laughs> kind of swung around his neck and he doesn't realise it and the fans are just chatting at him to sort his tie out and he doesn't realise it. But it's really cool and uh, they should do more of it uh, in the future because it was a really cool like way to kind of set people up for, you know, for the pay-per-view and get them into it and get some thoughts on the wrestlers in character obviously but at the same time it was really cool. Uh, WrestleMania press conference, uh, Edge's WrestleMania media tour Press conference in New York City, uh, WrestleMania weekend, uh, Trish Stratus feature on Full Access, and the dark match of WrestleMania, Val Venus and Lance Storm vs. RVD and Kane on Heat, uh, attack on Nathan Jones, which took him out of the match at WrestleMania, and post match comments from Victoria, Ray, A Train, Nathan Jones, Stacey Kubler, and Tori Wilson. Quite random, really, that's like all the lowest people on the card, and Nathan Jones didn't even wrestle, but okay. WrestleMania Retro. Superstars reveal their favourite WrestleMania moments. That's pretty cool and you get, you know, quite a wide a wide range of superstars giving their opinions from Christian to Spike Dudley to Shawn Michaels to Stone Cold. Uh, WrestleMania features. Celebrity moments, the beginning, WrestleMania one, Hogan vs. Andre, Hogan at WrestleMania and Undertaker being undefeated. Kind of just like some cool little featurettes and um <clears throat> comments on Hogan vs. McMahon from uh, Gene Oakland and Bobby Heenan, that's pretty cool. Because uh, they were back there, you know, in the time of, you know, the whole Hulkamania running wild. Uh, also, we have some promotional spots, some TV stuff. Um, Catfight Girls, just like random stuff from them. Uh, and the Vince training vignette, which are also great, always great to watch. And then also, finally, to round it all off, the night after WrestleMania, when Goldberg debuted. Goldberg. Yeah. Um... I wasn't really a big fan of Goldberg, but there you go. That's WrestleMania 19, and it's another great DVD. The third degree extra is great on disc too. Really worth watching, and uh, yeah, you'd be a fool not to have this DVD if you're a serious WWE fan and you're into DVDs, because this one's great, and so is WrestleMania 18. So yeah, those are two DVDs I would definitely recommend you get. And if you don't get them, then you're gay. But um, yeah. Awesome DVDs, awesome events. I've been Ray's Wire Views. Get him.